several different boards. I come here tonight not as a human rights activist, but as a retired business person. And I want to talk to you about things from a financial standpoint. I'm actually very excited because I think we've been heading towards a debacle with Whoville that I know all of you have wanted to avoid. But we simply haven't known a better path. And I think, as the mayor has said, show us a better path and we'll take it. And I think we have that tonight. We kind of have two paths possible. One is to continue the shutdown. The fence has already gone up. The police have already said they're going to use the stadium lights and the noise generators if there are any problems. After that, they will arrest the people that seek deprivation hasn't chased out of the camp. When they arrest them and they put them in the jail, it will be catch and release, so they'll go back to Kesey Square in the park blocks and become frequent flyers again, requiring a large number of police hours. They can't take their stuff with them, and the community has given them a lot of stuff to help make them more comfortable. Thanks to Le Bon versus LA, the police now can no longer just bulldoze all that stuff and throw it away. They have to inventory it, pack it up, take it, and store it for 30 days so that folks can have it if they do acquire someplace else to stay. My guess on the estimated cost of shutting down Whoville is something shy of $100,000. This isn't good use of taxpayer money, and I know none of you want to do it. What we have now is the escape hatch, which is to name a new rest stop at 8th and Mill, which the city manager had on his list of sites that meet the criteria, move the folks with serious health problems there where they can receive better care. Many of them are already clients at either Occupy Medical or White Bird. And so they'll be more centralized and they have ongoing care. And the rest can go out to the rest stop you've already approved at the west side of town. Thank you. Thank you. Dan Bryan.